Hi everybody, it's Mike Smith here. Just a, a quick video looking at what's going on in the market generally and I've had a couple of emails today which have asked the question, are we up for a bounce in the market after really what's been a, a fairly significant pullback um, hitting uh, or testing correction territory. So what I've got up here is a, a, just a line on close chart of the SPY, um, the ETF that tracks the S&P 500. You'll see we hit downtrend really once we broke uh, 200 on the SPY, roughly equating to about 2,000 on the S&P 500. Interestingly, we've tested 190 yesterday and bounced fairly significantly and are trading just under a percent up for the day. Uh, you'll do note that we see Hawkeye volume coming in green yesterday. Um, so really very premature to suggest that it might be a v-shaped bounce but nevertheless worth having on the radar let's just uh, change a couple of parameters on this chart uh, let's first of all flick it to a an open high low close chart give us a second now we're using ninja for those of you who are less familiar i'm just going to make the uh, the bars white That'll do fine. Uh, there you see it, and there you see the test of the uh, uh, of the 190 level, which is quite significant. Uh, a break of 119 would really be sort of testing the lows we hit in mid-August and in October 2014. If we then bring it in to look at things a little tighter. see things in a little more detail if we look at the chart here a couple of things we noticed first of all today's trading volume so far about uh, around about 55 minutes into the trading day is actually relatively low additionally if we were to play this bounce it'd be very very risky to uh, we can see that v-shape potentially starting to form i wouldn't be happy uh, to call it a v-shape bounce unless it uh, unless it really starts to sort of tackle this line here around about 198 and then potentially there's quite a bit of resistance around that 202 mark we might see it trade around to uh, 200 for a, a little while as it's as it did do uh, sort of around october uh, and really that 202 was the top that we hit after the um, the move up after this after the august drop in september so it's not unreasonable to suggest that if we do get a bounce we could see it trading uh, at least in the short term in between 198 and 202 and so rather than directionally trading this with for example a straight etf trade or a or even a bought call option we, what we might choose to do is plant our flag in a range that we think it might get to somewhere within an options period uh, and this strategy for those of you less familiar is called the butterfly so what we do is we place a call option at the bottom and the top of a potential range and then sell two lots of call options at this 200 mark so essentially you've got three option legs 198 two sell calls at 200 and one bought call at 202 and the profit area is here because it's out of the money this is going to be cheap but it's a far better way to play a potential move higher in a very risky market um, than, than simply planting your flag in a call uh, particularly with some of the fundamental things going on this week such as really the start of earnings reporting season so if we were to place that trade we can uh, just just look at the nasdaq and see what it's given us Okay, so we see that uh, the delayed price on the uh, Nasdaq website for the S&P 500 ETF is 193.72, which is around about 0.84. That hasn't moved much in the last 10-15 minutes or so. So if we look at a, that potential trade that we talked about, we'll choose a Jan 29 expiry. So here's the bid, here's the ask. As this is the most liquid option on the market, you'll always find the bid ask spreads um, particularly favourable. So we're paying 137 for the 198, and if we go to the 202 here, we'll see we're paying 40 for that. So 137 and 40 is our two bought calls. That's a total of 177. If we look at our 200, which is where we're going to sell, it's at let's say 77. So times two is 154. So remember we're paying 177 out. It's 154 back in. So that's a net debit of 23 cents. So that's your maximum risk. Maximum gain on this trade is $2. So um, that's a pretty significant maximum gain. But we won't be looking for our maximum gain. What we'll be looking for is a, 
uh, potentially a 100% return on investment. So if that pops up to around about 46, which it should do uh, relatively easily, if it does start to trade backward in that range, then we should be good to take a nice healthy profit off that whilst risking very little. So for example, if we were to enter uh, 20 contracts of this, we'd do 20 of the 198, 20 of the 202, and sell 40 of the 200. And that would cost us a total of $460. And uh, obviously we're looking for around about, uh, around about the $1,000 return, being a 640 profit. Um, so that's really what we're looking at today. And uh, I trust that's been interesting, useful, and gives you an idea about how to play a potential bounce. If you think it's going to happen without having a strong technical confirmation that we have actually had a V-shaped bounce. Take care, trade safe, and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.